Hi guys, uh, what resulted in pretty poor uh, last stream, um, there were a few good tips in but uh, we really did, didn't really do ourselves, uh, we didn't catch many fish and uh, it's an hard stream to watch when uh, I'm talking and we're not catching fish so I'm going to try and continue the top water I'm going to continue streaming until we have a good day fishing on top water. Okay, so these are our top water lures. We do have some wobblers, what work just on the surface as well. Um, we've got a few of the uh, Joe Fisherman um, fat back section uh, with three of them. We've got I actually bought that one by accident twice. <laughs> Did I buy it by accident three times? <laughs> anyway, hopefully uh, I'll lose a couple and uh, we can carry on. Um, so I've nearly got the... I think I need one or two more of, of the Joe Fishman screamers. These do very well in the right conditions. Um, not done very well with, with these that was at the moment. Just bought that new one, I'm going to give it a, in fact, we'll try that on first. This is not a deal, this is a, this is 10, um, this is a, about 10 silver lure. Um, it feels like we're moving guys, uh, the wind's got up again, and I think it's pushing our boat away from the reeds, which is not ideal. And we're spinning around a bit, let's see if we can get Good luck guys, tight lines today. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch a monster. Uh, I've not used this lure before, this is the first cast with this lure. Um, we'll just check everything's in position. Oh, we got one little, what looked like a little eye to go for that. So we christened our new lure anyway, that's good news, isn't it? We're spinning around a little bit guys. Uh, hopefully the boat will find itself um, and we'll go inside with that. I hope I have put the I'm sure I put the I don't think I'll be able to stand up without the uh, anchor being down but it is uh, it's acting as if it's not the anchor's not down because I'm a long way maybe it's an optical illusion uh, <laughs> and I'm not actually moving Maybe I'm just spinning and it feels like I'm moving. I'm not reaching them reads so um Okay guys, any questions? Uh, anybody wants to try anything on this water <laughs> and uh jump in the lake's not one of the suggestions, please guys. <laughs> um We've had good days and bad days, uh, which you get in real life, don't you? I'm um, going to try and top up my health and make the character a bit happier. Uh, let's have some thing. Okay, I think the boats, yeah, we've got our levels up. I think the boats settled down a little and the sun's gone in and it's gone cloudy. So hopefully the conditions are getting bad for us. It, I started this stream, it was all sunshiny and nice and as with real life weather, it's gone crappy. <laughs> um, Oh, that, I couldn't even cast that. Do you see that, guys? The wind's actually casting against the wind, so we need to use the wind to help, help us. So uh, we're casting. Um, cast with the wind behind our backs, uh, which would be something like that, I think. Let's see if it'll cast a long way that way. Yeah, I think that's gone a bit further. Uh, there's a shell for you, it could actually work as a fish. Don't forget that. 
Um, we may be better fishing this way, guys, uh, for, a, for a short while while the while the conditions are a little bit rough for us. Oh, God. But that's that new lure took off the surface then, uh, what that late trout. Okay. And you'd be trying everything. I mean, the reason I've just tried these uh, top water lures is uh, to give you a visual uh, aspect of the of the how the fishes uh, come up and, and feed on the lures and you know and, and actually strike the bait. It's it's really impressive. Uh, AI and uh, physics and the graphic detail of, of the game it's really, they've got it they've got th a few things very right with this game uh, I'm loving it and um, hopefully you'll uh, you'll be downloading it if you've not already downloaded it and you'll be uh, enjoying it as much as I if not more than I catching record fish and giving me tips of what I'm doing wrong <laughs> uh, but uh, we're top water fishing with the uh, top what top water lures um, we're very now retrieves uh, we at the moment we're on a speed of 22 I can slow that down a little bit I think uh, we're on a speed of 16 and to get the walk the dog we are reeling in continuous at that 16 speed and any time during that um retrieval we want to get walk the dog uh, technique going it's exactly the same as a as twitching uh it's just every so often you hit the right mouse button whilst retrieving with the left mouse button. So if this was an underwater lure, this would be displaying twitching. There's no difference in the twitching and uh, walk the dog, except one's on the surface and one's underwater. So uh, give that a go guys. Um, I'm going to change lures, see if we can cast a bit further. And our weather's gone pretty uh, dismal at the moment and we need something to brighten it up. So it said dark colours for cloudy weather and bright colours for sunshine, I believe. So we've got rainy conditions again. Uh, this is getting more like my country, this weather, Manchester, UK. Rainy Manchester. Uh, so, I'm used to this weather. This is the, it looks like we live on another planet. You know, like uh, most people have blue skies, we have like a grey sky. And uh, it's mostly like that all the time. That's what we see every morning when we wake up, more or less. Um, but we do have green grass with all the rain and and stuff and we don't have we do have water shots believe it or not it rains every day of the year more or less and uh, we get five days sunshine and it's uh, oh you can't use your rose pipes uh, water ban and all this there's too many people not enough trees <laughs> okay guys that's my little uh, rant of the uh, <laughs> of the stream and get back down to business that looks okay that one guys so hopefully we can get it to the surface not put too much on it ah that's a nice pike isn't it Okay, that's on top water and uh, and it's raining and it's cloudy, so we do we can get good fish in bad conditions. So that's nice to know. I'll take a rainy day picture of that one. 
<laughs> so they look a bit like, like Sasquatch then. Sorry, Sasquatch, mate. Great fan. <laughs> uh, great streams. Okay, let's see if we can get another on the top water. The graphics underneath do like display, you know when you're getting a decent pike, it does look bigger underwater. Um, and I think if I was in real life, I think I'd probably uh, have a catch one fish and move on, you know, because I think pike are very territorial i think i think they have their area of the water to the game might not be set up that way but um if you got one big pike out of one area i think you know chances of another big pike being in that area is a bit slim i think the only i'm i'm only going off a, a little bit of info i got a long time ago when i was uh, trying to get into pike fishing and stuff. It's something I read about them all having a little, they're a little, you know, territories really, you know, that one had one, say one pike could work this area to this area and then maybe from the the tree, you'd have another in, in its own little lure in a hole in the reeds have another one and and then the the big foot should be out eating all the time you know i think i think i read that a pike only eats maybe one big meal a month and then uh it to digest that and then when it feels hungry to come out a bit lazy really i know the the very powerful strike fit Maybe that uh, idea of the pike, I mean, this is before internet and before proper commercial fishing and stuff. So maybe there's a, a different, uh, like an update on that to what I actually read. Um, I think it were black and white when I read it with that long ago. Um, although most writing is in black and white and <laughs> I meant the pictures. Um, Okay, uh, not sure if anybody's in chat. Uh, I have, I do have a little bit of uh, trouble getting my chat screen up, uh, but I'd like to hear from anybody if if uh, anybody would like to see. If, you know, we are fishing top water and trying to uh, fish the reeds and look for any, you know potential lures of the pike that we could get some nice fish from um so i'll keep checking in the chat if anybody's dropped dropped by and should get a a ching <laughs> i'll set it up to give a little chime if we get a message so i think i'm okay at the moment We've picked up a few uh, fish along this little ridge of, uh, can you see on the right hand side the shallower, or it's like um, a granite sort of, well it's probably not granite, it's probably whatever that is made of, or underwater it looks a, a different colour, is it? Um, but you can see there's like a, <laughs> sounds like we've got a ding. <laughs> Hiya Mike. Uh yeah Mike. Um I've I've only just switched this 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 stream's been running about fourteen minutes, Mike. Um like I said, there's no schedule on it or anything, but uh I I believe you wanted the uh you know the in fact I'll show you now, mate, while you're on. Um I'm on the on an earlier stream, I did the 28 lure. Um, 
you know the 28 low what you didn't seem to be able well you 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 were fine with it but um i'll just show you what i think you meant uh, i think it was that one and i'm not sure whether we can reach the deep pool from here uh, but we'll give it a go so i think it was 32 speed uh, on the siberia reel what i have um seemed a sweet spot uh to get the jig step uh if you can see i'll be with you mate um so you may have already sussed that out mike uh but uh 32 seemed a, a, an optimum it even in the deep uh pool didn't get any I don't think I caught anything on it, uh, and I tried it for a while on different speeds. I got it to work as low as about 15 um, real speed, and then uh, up to about 42. And we lost it uh, by reeling in a little bit. You know, say you did two turns of it, I didn't get it to display. Can you see how it, it's on the. 32 now but not displaying um i think it's more or less a on off on off that's as fast as that with the left button you know uh, i'll just cast this in and check what your message was right <clears throat> yeah thanks mate um it was similar to what we were chatting about when I think uh, it was, uh, you know, I think you'd mentioned that uh, you would, you, you, well, I think it were you, Mike, yesterday who mentioned uh, you like to see a display. You, you like the game telling you that you're doing something right, and and I think with every with every uh, lure. With everything we went through, we, we managed to get a display popping up, didn't we? Um, there's the jig step. And, and touching bottom. Uh, them were the two where I used to get the most bites. Uh, I've, I've done, I've done uh, the deep waters with the jig step and I've had really good uh, results with uh, fish on uh, Volkov. I've done... Uh, if you look at the deep water Volkov um, uh, streams, I mean, don't watch all of them because they're a bit long and laborious, and a lot of same old same sort of thing. But um, there's some good fish in there, and there's some good fish that I couldn't get in. But if you've got better gear than than the setup I'm using, you will have a good day's fishing. You will get some you know, monsters, and uh, the catfish go up to i'm not sure what they go up to but they're at 83 kilogram and the record for the russian uh server and uh i know you had a good i've lost <laughs> i've lost three more big pike on that corner mike where you could you managed to get them out easy all right mike um I think it's to do with skill points, mate. I think uh, one thing uh, Gene said uh, about um, your gear is, you know, in the shop, if 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 you look at the gear, um, the gear has as a skill skill point how good it is, and I f and I think everything has to be a good level to to even allow that bigger fish to bite. I think probably fish up to six kilogram will bite on my gear. And then if I had the next grade rod and uh, say I use this line, which costs like 100 silver, it's more, is it right click what gives you the, there's a way of getting it to display. I don't know whether it's, um, I've only got 20 meters of that left. I snapped on Volkov on a on a big, well, on a on a big fish on a fish. 
Yeah, um, I, I lost some mic though. <laughs> uh, I didn't get them out. I got. I've had a. I've had a six and a half and a, a, a five and a four today, but I, it, just on the edge of that. Yeah, yeah, mate. I really do believe it's it's a case of. I mean, that's why I'm using. Uh, I'm letting my rig down as well, uh, mate. I mean, there's always, you know, it gets expensive. My rig, um, that's a, that's that line there. Uh, I'll just get back in the game. That line, I think it was 120 silver or something like that. It's it's crazy money, and I lost it more or less on the first fish because I cast in and it, I got a bigger fish on that I couldn't hold and stop, but. I turned it and that's what made me hold it out to try and get it out because it would have been my biggest fish. But in not not restarting the game and saving my line and my lure, I lost 80 metres of line with, with that fish. Uh, but I think this has, even the bread feed, I'd, I'm trying to think of a way of displaying it. Uh, the Let's have a see if, if I can, details. It's, it's not showing it in here, uh, Mike, but in the shop, it has stars, star rating, and the, the, the line, the reels, the rods, everything has a star rating. So you, you get like higher quality gear. That's why when you said uh, you're letting your line down by that, this is more expensive gear, and I think it's, uh, I think that the you know it has a reason because that it's dearer. You're limited on. I think if you if it doesn't have teeth, you've a good chance of getting a big fish on in on these. But uh, like you say, there's there's the heavier heavier uh, leaders as well. What go up to I think sixty five kilogram and stuff like that. Um, sorry, I'll read you. I have to. Yeah, uh, uh, Gene said in the in the thing, upgrade your gear. That uh, and, and he said, hoots are a main part of that. So I know we're lure fishing, but um, with the hoots on normal bobber fishing and, and ledgering and, and sorry feeder fishing, uh, he said hoots make a big difference. Big hoots, quality hoots. The cheap beginner hooks will break, and I think you saw yesterday. I had a, a cheap treble hook on one of the uh, the lures I brought, and I know I know when I actually I think it's all part of the I, I think it's all part of the build up, might I think if if you probably have a star rating, you know, say you get. Three stars for the, four stars for the lure, three stars for the leader, four stars for the reel, four stars for, I think it's all a star system uh, and um, how much the add up gives you anything above the second tier. You know, like being at the fairground where you where you get the first, you know, you win the first uh, prize and you can have anything on the bottom row between you know the penny arrow and the the you know the goldfish sort of thing but but when you when you've got more more tickets more stars uh you get the bigger prizes and i think that's how it's it's right it might be totally wrong i might be it might be just on a chance of of cast you know it might be on a, a roll of dice uh but i've fished a lot now over the last six week and the bigger fish have not bit on my line. So I think it's, I think it's, I'm not a high enough grade in my gear to actually get them to bite. Uh, and I think that's it uh, in a nutshell, really. Um, so leaders may not affect the actual bite of the fish, but I think it's what level you have, what you've, what you've, what character your level is as well you know how you've built up your character of that spinning uh so we're spinning uh how it builds up 
uh, your skill points, your strength. I think even your luck factor, uh, it said, uh, what were it? Um, I think it said if the luck's high, you have a bigger chance of catching, and maybe I'm, I'm getting mixed up with something else, but I think I were reading that uh, you have a higher chance of catching a trophy fish. Uh, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm thinking of the the skill points, I think. I may be getting totally mixed up with the skill points. Let's have a look. Uh, I've read it somewhere. Um, not bottom fishing. Uh, let's finish with this fishing with spinner. It's not there. Fishing with spoons and spinner baits. If you get these up, the technique of fishing and spoons and spinner baits improves. The higher the technique, the greater the chance of catching a trophy. You see them, uh, Mike? A trophy is one of the bigger fish of that species. So, uh, on the spinner, the spoons and spinner baits, if you get them points to three, you have the technique of fishing with spoons and spinner baits improves. The higher the technique, the greater the chance of the catching a trophy. So I think with that, as well as with um, your quality of line, quality of boots, quality of... The, the lures I'm using, um, these lures are the highest in the shop. These lures are the highest in the shop, the top, the top water. That's why I've tried to start using them. These, um, sorry, these uh, Joe Fishman, these Joe Fishman top water and the uh, Joe Fishman screamers, they're actually four star. So them are the highest of all spinners. And uh, I wouldn't say that they're, you know, they're proving the point. Uh, I've not actually gone into the jig. I'm not high enough level to do the others, but all these are like two and a half, two, and and these are like two and a half. But the great, that's a great lure. I've cast that in twice and got big fish on today and just not been able to get them in. So I wish I could upgrade the hook on that. Um, but I think better quality line, better real, I think the real, um, I, I think if you go into the shop and look at the reels, they've got a star rating. And, all right, blast poppers up here, yeah. Okay, maybe uh, you, you've put more in wobbler and popper spinning and I haven't noticed any fish being any bigger. Have you upgraded, I mean, are you using the same grade of line as me? I mean, I'm not catching. Over the last couple of sessions, I've really struggled, but I have fished a lot this method, you know. Um, more success with blast poppers. I have blast poppers, don't I? I think I've just had a look. Let's have a see. Um, blast poppers or hoppers? Is that is it that one you mean, uh, Mike? Uh, it's a, or have I not got one of them what you're on about uh, gosh I wish I had the I wish I had another one ah uh, yeah that might be the only reason you're not getting bigger fish Mike um, try and get the expensive uh, I mean it's worth a try I, I, I I wouldn't mind buying the full, you know, top line for 500. I, I'm, was that I mean Blast Hopper? Is that what I have? Uh, let's have a look. I'm sorry you're having time, Mike, and uh, although you're doing it a, a hell of a better job than I would be doing. Um, let's have a see. Uh, let's see if this will give a reading out of details. I'm sure you should be able to. Let's put it on. I can't really cast it in, but let's see if it'll... Uh, is it this? Um, where it says line, no. 
Oh, and another thing, Mike, uh, well, I've just remembered. I got told you need to move down this to get the bigger fish. This is an increase. You need more points. Once you upgrade, you move down this. Once your skill levels go higher, you move down. And these will build, bring bigger fish, better fish. I've had a, a big fish on that one and been snapped a few times fishing that. But I'm not sure how that should be fished. Should you fish it exactly the same as... Uh, it says, to make this rig, you need to treble swivel, a sinker drop shape, or any other type. And a set hook and a soft lure. It slightly resembles a drop shot rig, but this rig... But in this rig, the lure is placed on a long leader that moves freely. I believe the further down this you can set yourself, the the better the quality of fish as well, I think. Um, in fact, I can try it if you want. Um, so say you, had, say you had the expensive line, you had the top reel you could afford, you've got the best rod you could afford, you use the most expensive similar you know thing you could and that as a, a four star i think you would be getting close to getting the optimum i can't see other, any other difference in, other than where you your level are yeah i realize that uh but i've caught pike on these rigs you know what i mean um i'll 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 show you what I mean. Uh, we may not catch. Um, I'm scared of using this one, but we should be able to get it in. Uh, the problem is, is if it goes to the end of the line, I only have 20 meters. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is, if that fluorocarbon is like four star, um, keep the steel leader on. Uh, I thought I changed it. I'm not, I think you have to say okay to it. Um, let's have a see. Let's have a three way rig. Okay. Now I've, jig I've used this um, rig type change. I'll, I'll change that back. Um, is this the stuff? This is the suit. Is this the braid you got? Um, is that the braid you're using, uh, Mike? Uh, let's see what I've got. See, these have different ratings as well. I think these were dearer than the basic shot. So by getting to the next level, the available thing, I think everything that is higher, like cheap hoots like this. I know, I know you're on about the spinners, but I think it's to do with grade of line and grade of uh, how good the spinner is and what your levels are set at. Um, let's put that one on for a minute. That's an S1 oak. And soft plastic, let's have a see what should go. I think it'll go for something like that, won't it? Let's try that one. Okay, that's like a that's like the thing you set up now. And it's pitch black. Goodness, I've talked myself through the night time again. Okay, so if I was at, at the corner there and fishing that corner, I think this is deep water back of me actually. So cast it out and I would it, it, it gets very heavy uh, so I'll, I'll read your message mate uh, I'm mainly using the express fishing bridge is that what I'm using I think it isn't it because it's the excellent line strength I need to sorry for reading it out I'm reading it out and everybody can uh, see the text I believe um, all right I don't think it has to be a strong in quality line, uh, Mike. I think uh, I think what happens is the cheap line, even though it says 40 kilogram or whatever, uh, 18 kilogram, because it's a cheap make, it's not 18 kilogram. I think that's what happens because it's like, you know, like a reproduction whatever it's not as good as the main suppliers like uh you know shimano or who makes good line uh, 
census. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to think of some uh, lines. I've not been fishing for a while, uh, proper. But um, I think it's a, in the game. I think it's a case of the beginner start routes and the start of line is the way Gene explained it was it's cheap Chinese imports and they won't do you very good they're not strong they're not made of good steel so they break and that's why my treble loop broke and that's how the game's made up it's like uh like the shop the shop set up as uh in, in some shops if they buy if, if a lot of people buy that product the price of that product will go up because it's in demand and to, what i'm trying to get you're as good as your tools that you're using. And if you can get the best rod you can afford, the best reel, the best line on that that setup, the best reel, best loop, best thing, and be at the, at the level that allows you and have your skill points up to the equivalents. I mean, I've not seen any starter guys starting up and bringing in a record. I've not seen that. I've not been able to chat with anybody in the forum yet who's actually been a beginner and got the record catfish or something like that because his gear won't be up to that grade unless they bought it with with real money they won't have the gear to do it they have to build their arsenal up to be to tackle any condition uh, i've been really struggling getting uh, some of the carp out you know uh, the reel just didn't have enough drag with it uh, I need a better reel, definitely. But um, you seem to have the right setup, but is it the right quality of gear to get? I think it's written in. If it ticks all the boxes, uh, quality, top top grade line, you can catch between 15, 10 kilogram and 20 kilogram. Uh, medium quality you can catch between five kilogram and ten and poor quality you can catch between zero and five grid or something like that and i know it says use bigger hooks to catch bigger fish so i think up to number 12 you'll be catching your, your smaller car every other silver fish and maybe a, a small pike or something like that and then when you move on to a better grade it probably lets you go from five kilogram to ten, and then when you've got the most expensive setup, you the all the fish are open to you, and you get random small fish and the trophies as well. Uh, that's all I've been able to take out of what I've heard in chat and what I've heard in the question and answers and and what I've thought and worked out. All ah, right, yeah, okay, mate. Well, I think if anybody's going to get a record, mate, you'll get it. Because uh, it's always my mates who, who, who end up catching uh, the biggies, you know. I, I end up being the uh, cameraman, <laughs> you know. So don't forget to let me uh, take a screenshot of your big uh, massive uh, carp and your big pike and everything. Um, okay, I'm going to try and bounce this across this deep hole here and uh, just see if we get a take on it i do believe uh having the look section up and i've been you saw, you saw how much fish uh, how much food i was eating and stuff i'm like that in real life actually <laughs> uh, i have one tackle box of bait a bit for the fish and like two tackle box of bait of food for me and drinks uh, but i don't drink alcohol now i've not drunk for a, a while uh, so you know that's me only i don't smoke i don't drink and i'm not telling you rest. <laughs> uh, but uh, let's see if we can let's see if we can get a, a take on this we, i've not tried the improve you know the high skill set uh, but that's what i got told get all your skill sets up even in in you know it's part of the improving as a character and I think the character improvement is has a lot to do with what fish you can catch and stuff. I'll check with you, message in a minute, uh, Mike. Thanks for dropping in, by the way, Mike. I appreciate it. Um, 
be calling in, Matt. Um, as I said, uh, if you ever want to start streaming, I'll be dropping in on your channel. <laughs> I'll be mothering you. Um, let's see how we go with this. A couple more, I think. One more tea and a... And a it didn't do it, didn't do it. One more tea and a sausage, I think. This last one sends the boost right up. That's that's what I'm trying. Let's see how it goes up, man. Okay, let's see what speed we need to bounce this. I'll check with you in a minute. Sorry, Mike. Uh, I've been uh, to bounce these weights. I've been doing like that, but only the tiniest of of leftmost button clicks to try and get the the jig step in the pool. Let's see if you can see the line lifting, it should jig step in a bit. Sometimes you have to move your rod up a bit. And sometimes you have to let it sink a bit as well. Let's try it with shift press down. There's the jig step. See how a, a, a bigger, you know, it's a proper. Um, but I've, I've caught big catfish like fishing like this in, I'm saying big catfish, 16 and a half and 17 and a half uh, kilogram. But that that's that were acting like it needed a, a bit more uh, speed then uh, to do it without having the shift press, you know. And it's with it being deep, it's having to lift as well as uh, move it closer to you. I'll just check your, your chat, mate. Um, I know you told me that yesterday. <laughs> um, I believe the, the keeping the character happy. Uh, I believe that has a big effect. If you look at the levels now behind the chat, um, I believe. I hope chat's all right. By the way, is it is it big enough, Mike? You, for for your reading the chat, can you can you see uh, your text? Okay. Let's have a look. How does it look? In fact, I can't see your chat. Is chat not coming up for you, mate? Let me just check. I've got chat open. Uh, what would it be? Restream chat. Is the chat working for you? Is the chat on stream? On screen, Mike, for you? I can see it in my restream. Uh, Ah, oh, you're on you're on thing, aren't you? You're on YouTube. You're not on Twitter. Uh, Twitter, are you? Uh, Twitter, Twitch. <laughs> they do actually, but they don't like me. Uh, they don't like me line. They see it off really easy. Mike, are you seeing the display of text on on the stream? You must be doing for be able to type, but I can't see the display of text in in uh, OBS, which I actually want anybody's viewing to be able to see the. Let me just make sure I've got it set up right. Excuse me, one minute. I can't see your text. Like, where is that? Maybe it's behind us for some reason. Um, let me drag that down. Let's see if that makes a difference. And studio mode. Nope. Ah, is it that one? Is it that one? Maybe that's the one that I need to be to have on. I can see it now. It's, can you see that text, mate? And is it is it okay for you? Now let, let's see what you said. Uh, where am I? Ah, you're on Chrome. Um, can't see text. Can. Uh, can't see text on stream. Come see my text where I am. Ah, right, I'm with you. You've got like a text pad. Uh, this, if you have a look now, Mike, it should be on the stream now. Um, if it's not in your road, though, I'll leave it like that. Can you make it out? 
and is the and is the text big enough for you? Let's see if we can catch on this uh, giant rig. Uh, if we look at the, uh, it's doing the jig step now without having press shift. So there's some going for that. I can see. Oh no! <laughs> you know what I thought we're going for that then. You can have a laugh at your mic. I thought that were a fish going for me lure, and it were the actual lure. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, we need an instant rewind on the. Uh... Yeah, you can see the cat. All ah, right. You see, I don't know how it all works. Uh, I'm actually streaming to. Uh... Yeah, I'm str I'm streaming to restream and then restream streaming out to uh, Twitch and uh, YouTube at the same time. Yeah, very good. That's that's how we want it for you, you know. Um, the missus had just come in with the to, uh, R2 duck, so it might get a bit noisy for a little while. If I'm if you if I mute off for a while, I'll still be reading your text and stuff. Wow, that's great then. Okay, all right. Thanks, Mike, for the info and, and uh, input and help with everything. Okay, let's see if I can get a take on this. Hello. Hello, little one. There's the jig, jig step. It's a bit too heavy to do anything else with, with that. But I think this, I think this method is, is for trolling, and I think it the ladles it down I think the ladles it down and you can set a separate level that the lure hangs out at the back I think that's how that should although it'll be wafting up and down with that jig step on it maybe it's just a straight retrieve slot um, let me check the text yeah. Yeah, this is a big one, I think. Um, let's have a look. Uh, in game. Uh, if, I'll show you the records, mate. If, if you have a look at um, which one. See this one. This pairs out really well. And this was one I, I actually wanted to go for. But, because I think it's a to wait that I could get in. And I think that would probably be... Uh, one guy said he got a nine, were it six or something? He got a six kilogram fish and he got 233 silver for it out of his water. I've never had that in me. Uh, I'm not sure who said it, but um, who were it? Now? It weren't you, mate, were it? <laughs> uh, one guy uh, was chatting with me and said they got a. Uh, one of these were red fins, said silver were red fins, and so it might not be that one, it might be that one actually, Arctic chart, that looks silver were red fins. Um, so that might be the one what pays the most, but I'd like to get the chart. I've, I've actually had uh, one, say four in a row, fishing the deepest uh, tools, the, tw the sorry, the 10 meter roll and the 50 meter roll, I've had two or three char in a row. Um, fishing on, uh, what were it? I think it was, uh, I think it was the small red, you know the one you mentioned? I think it was, I don't think it's down here. Uh, you see these, see, see these, these pair really well. And these are like maggots. So let's put that black maggot on, see if we can. Maybe we need to be over one of the holes to get it. But when it shows that, is it the three way rig? Is he, are they using something more advanced? Maybe the, you know, when we go through here, is it the, is it the three way rig? Is it, is it, is he jigging it like that? Is he using, it like that maybe you know if they've got more advanced than us there's different ways of this of, of of presenting this maggot you know this this uh 
plastic lure, there's different ways. And each one of these, slightly different texture, but to make, can't wait, you need a drop shit. From what I got told, the high, further down this, this list, the better your character is and the better fish you'll get. That's what I got told. Um, having said that, I'm fishing on this one because this is the one where we can use the lures, you know, so um, I don't know how that gets explained, you know, so let's try that black, see if we can catch one of them. Maybe I need to go a bit that way and get over the... Well, same when we were doing a top water, it, it's t changed into a... How do we catch big fish? <laughs> Ah, right, right. Well, that's a great fish. Were you, were you trolling, Mike? Are we, were you static? Were you in a boat just anchored up? Or were you from the... I'm, trying, I'm after your, your secrets now, Mike. <laughs> Mike, um, any tips on how to catch a big current in the depot next to the... Ah, right. The, would that be this one? Um, the 15. In fact, we can go there. I, I, I like fishing the, the depot. In fact, right, guys, we're going we're going in search for the for the elusive Mike's 12 kilo. Although he's probably sold it, he's like that, Mike. <laughs> um, let's troll over and and get the. I need to be sort of it, so. Okay, let's go over and see if we can catch Mike's Kukuri. Is it how we pronounce them that? Kuari. I'm away a minute. Mike, just set this on its way. Um, I caught it by accident. I've not seen accident on this. Is it a part of the map? Oh, I see you caught it by accident. <laughs> just try it be funny, Mike. Um, you didn't mean to catch that one, you were after the bigger one. I know what you're saying. Right, let's go. Are we trolling? We might be trolling, actually, guys. Are we not? Yeah, I think that. I'll just have to make sure I've closed that. Uh, let's get that one out for a minute. That's all I got a top water on, so that won't produce. Just wanted to tr see if I'd. Close it. Yeah, I am for the real guys. Okay. Would have been in trouble with that. Let's have a look at what you're saying, right? Uh, let's... Really? Brilliant. So we took it on the drop then. Uh, was he in a boat? Uh, you weren't trolling then. Uh, you was. Not talking. Okay. In the deep focus island, I got it right. Was you on the island or was you in a boat, uh, Mike? And was the boat moving or anchored down? I'm after all your tips. <laughs> Spill the beans, Mike. Come on. Were you fishing it from this end? Here we go, guys. I've got the chink as a little sank to the bottom. All right. So. Was you trolling or was it a static boat or was you st stood on the island casting into the deep water? It may make a difference whether you, you're actually moving or... I think if you were fishing, I think if you were targeting the 15 metre pool, you'd be actually... Ah, uh, trolling. So you, you, your boat were moving then. So it, as it was sinking, your boat was still moving. And you just kept going over the 50 meter pool. It's hard to get the idea of what what people are saying over a message, you know. You're trolling, so a bit like I'm approaching the lure. You you cast one rod in, and you were setting the other up. We've got some. Hey guys, you know we've got something on each rod. Um, We've got something on the top water, I'm sure that's... Oh no, it might not be the top water. I think I've got the uh, hijacker on that other one. Let's see. 
But on this one, we've got the black maggot, haven't we? Let's see what the black maggot brings up. And it would cast out a long way, wouldn't it? There were a bit more line than the. Let's see what's bringing up. I don't know what happened then. That fish is over there. It's, it's swimming away. Can you see it? Or is it on the other? It may be on the other rod. I don't know what. I keep getting that. As it said, of uh, it said the fish got off. That's a bit late. Uh, fish got away. I'm, it's doing that a lot on me. Okay. Anyway, let's let's swap to rod two with a fish on rod two. Let's see if we can get that one. I don't think it's too big this one, I saw it from underneath. But uh, losing way too many fish. We had a fish on the rod one that got off. And let's just see what Mike said. Ah, it was at dust and bust up as it sunk up. Yeah, I've, I've had a few uh, fish take on the drop. Was you at the first side? Mike fishing this way or the way I am going back up the lake. In other words, was you at this end of the pool? May, may make a difference, it may not like, you know. I think the pool starts, I'll have a look at the map in a minute, but I think if I drive up a little bit, we can get the, I'll put that back. Uh, if I can, let's go right. uh, get that back. Let's put this back. Uh, so we'll go back in a minute if I'm lucky. Oh, there we go. Okay, so. So, what I was trying to say, Mike, is was you this end casting along the deep? This is our, our deep pool, isn't it? Starts in front, of, that's the castle, though, that square thing there. So, if we look at the corner of, the corner of that, which should be straight in the middle of, of the deep water, and it's about two-thirds away from the island and a third away from the rock. Suddenly. Okay, it was just no boat and stop between Curse Island and the boat house. Oh, really? The other side? Ah. So you weren't in the deep pool, you were in this area. I thought you meant this deep pool here. Yeah, see, see what I mean. You was. Let's see. Between the Curse Island and the boat house. Alright, so you mean this all you were, you were in then? Or you were in this vicinity there, weren't you? I thought you meant this deep pool. Uh, I've fished this deep pool. I've had not really had the best of thing. That's been probably the best pool I've I've worked. Um, okay, uh, I actually parked up around this eight point five mark here and cast across the pool, and I did get a, de a decent. Uh, not as big as, as yours. Ah, uh, right. Uh, I think there is with the, from what I've read, there's, there's a delay with the YouTube um, version. It shouldn't be that long, though. Um, ah, right. Thanks, Mike, for the, for the info. I think it's instant on uh, Twi uh, Twitch and, and another one, but in the dark grey area, yeah. Uh, so we'll take it around. Right, okay. Uh, I'll re, I'll relocate, uh, Mike, and we'll go. In fact, I'll go cut across because I'll show you where I actually fished the ten meter pool. It was somewhere around the ninety six. 107, I think, or oh, 10796, 10696, somewhere around there. That's 10792, 93, 94, 95. 10796, I think that was the. There we go. 
We'll drop the anchor there. Let's have a look where that is. Um, yeah, I think that's where I were, and I fished in towards them two truly. So, right, guys, we're gonna fish the 10 meter pool. And a thing I noticed is if I cast towards that brick, I go across the other, the other. I thought it was all the 10 meter pool, but from here, you can actually fish. Uh, we are around this area now. And we, you can actually fish that deep pool. You can see when I cast, when I do the first cast, you'll see it land in quite shallow thing. But you see it drop down deep, and I'll drag it across the um, back to the boat. But from here, where, where I am now, I'm around there. I think you can actually cast that way and go in this deep grey area, which I also think is about ten. You can see the shade for 10 and 12, it's like the dark grey, and for the really deep, it's nearly blacky grey, isn't it? So I think this is 10 metres deep. I think this area is 10 metres deep. I think that's 12 metres deep. I think that's probably 10 or 12 metres deep. All the rest of the lighter grey is eight and a half. There's a four and a half on the white, with shed and two and a half at that end so i think it goes from two and a half to well there's your three meter there and stuff so that's that that's that like mountain in the in the depot that we go across so i think we're i'm around that area i think now uh so if i cast up to the two trees i'll be dragging it through the ten and if i cast down to around this area i'll be dragging it in that tender so we can cast both sides like say if i cast out that way i'll be going through the 10 meter pool let's get me right i think that way i'll be going through the 10 meter pool and if i cast up the anywhere from that that stuff that like a gray thing to these double dot i think i get through the let's cast the thing and see where we go Let's see if it goes shallow and drops down. I don't know if you can see the line that way. Uh, right, I can see it's dropped down and going deep there. Uh, it's like about 30, 45. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that rod two spinning around. It's like a inertia. Uh, Look at that. It's like hypnotic. I should I should sell that as a like a piece sort of thing. Okay, let's see if we can. In fact, we're very deep. Can you see the angle that the you can see the angle of the line. That's right, going nearly right under the. Uh, let's see if we can catch anything. That's nearly right under the boat. Is that still spinning? Look at that going, guys. We've 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 invented uh, what they call it that unlimitless energy. Um, That's what they have to do. They have to do it virtually. Well, I only don't say about try. I'll put the uh, slim, what they call it. Uh, you, you said you got it on the drop. Uh, was it the 28 or was it the 15? I know there's two. So we'll get that back on the lower rig. Um, okay. So um, we know that this sort of rig gets. Uh, gets the um did you say it was 11 uh, 10 or 11 sorry mike I've, I've the text has gone missing now um oh, i seem to have lost text again uh let's bring the stream back up um, Okay, Lua. Was it that slim shot or was it the 28? I'll try the 28 first um, because it's a natural big. It says uh, weight, it's a huge, can you see size? It's spoon and it's huge. 27 gram, I should be okay with that, yeah. And okay. Uh, I don't know if I've lost you actually, Mike. Uh, I can't see the text again. Um, 
maybe the text is refreshed or something. Ah, hold on. Dark grey area. Um, it says I'm still streaming, Mike, but I might have lost you, mate. Uh, no problem if you had to go and you catch the stream later. No problem, mate. I'll try and cast to where I think. Ah, I've, I've heard a message, mate. Uh, oh, maybe it's on a timer. Um, I think the ah the heavy red. So the twenty eight. It says it's a huge lure. Um, it, it took it on the drop, so I can't. I can't guess how you was fishing it. Was you trying to, was you just retrieving it straight? Have you seen that spinning lure, Mike? I'm going to be hypnotized in a minute. It's been spinning for about 10 minutes since the boat stopped. Uh, maybe I've invented uh, perfect energy or something, you know. Uh, I'll try the jig step at the bottom, and I know uh, these lures are made for continuous use, I think, I mean, like. A very slow retrieve or something. Um, maybe we can get a. I mean, it's a very heavy lure to get it to do the. Let's have a see what. Um, that's a deep hole. Uh, let's have a see. I may be a lot way too fast with that one. Let's see what you said, Mike. Um, yeah. I, I, I've got that one on on mic, um, on this set of it. Watch you, watch you. Yeah, there's a bit of a delay. I, I saw it go straight up on the, on my. Yeah, it's a big lower. So watch you continuously retrieving it in before it actually. I know the, there's a deep hole over there. I believe uh, it might be. Let's have a look. There's a, somewhere over there is a deep hole as well. So. You've got two opportunities of covering uh, deep water. Let's see if it'll drop there. Do you see that drop in then? I landed on shallow water, but it's dropped into the deep. Right, so let's see what I could do. Let's see if I can do a stop go with this. I know it's so heavy. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Let it drop. One, two, three, let it drop. One, two, three. Yes, yeah, it's, it's more or less like a pendium under underneath me. It, it's it's actually like sea fishing. This it's right below me in deep water. Okay, um, didn't do what I was after, but uh, as to a slow bounce, uh, like I do with the. I know yours is in the opposite. Uh, Let's do a slow break. Let's check the. Did I just do the. Check with you in a minute, Mike. Just, uh, I'll just get this set. Um, let's do the, the slow jig step for a minute. Okay, I'll let's check. Uh, it was my accent. The rod was intended on the rod was rocking up and down. Ah, so it's it's like doing the sea. You know, like sea fishing and the jigging. Uh, I don't actually. All right, I'll give it a go, uh, Mike. No problem. Keep the info coming. Um, right, I'm on a slow dig. So let's see if I can get it on the slow setting. It may not lift on this being this slow. Um, although it showed the line lifting then. If you watch the line going into the water. If the line lifts, it's coming off the bottom. The, it's lifting and dropping, let's see. Um, maybe I don't have to reel as, as there's the jig step. It doesn't need, doesn't need as much of, of a turn. But I think if you're not getting the jig step, you're doing too much of a, a turn. Let's see. I'll turn around and do it in the other 10 meter pool in a minute. I'm sure you can catch in all these deep uh, sections of, of of water and stuff. You know. Yeah. 
I'll try the thing in it. You know, the um, the floating and the sinking uh, funky minnows as well. Uh, I think that's got to the bottom, bros. I'll, I'll come up the depth um, with the same sort of retrieve. I'll do a couple of turns actually on the way up. Sorry about the dog, my. Um, she's had a, she had a little operation. She had a little tumor uh, in her belly, and it was cancerous. But I think they've got everything out. Uh, so uh, she's happy, and she's showing her excitement by barking at everybody who walks past. Uh, we've got like um, glass windows at the side of our door and uh, you can see anybody passing a car passes. So <laughs> she loves sitting there and watching uh, people pass and, every and letting everybody know this is a house sort of thing. Okay, let's cast in the... Look at that, it's still going up. I've, I've invented the uh, never-ending spinning spinning thing don't watch it guys you'll be you'll be in a a trance okay i can't really see i'll go sideways on so that we can see the that's dropping down the line now. uh how are we doing for time yeah good time time's good uh, although you were you were near dust weren't you let's, a let's keep it let's go let's get a fit One thing I try also, uh, Mike, is if, if you've cast it through the pool a few times and you're not getting uh, any takes, just pressing shift and doing a couple of, like, I'm going to press shift now, press shift and doing a couple of deeper, uh, you know, lifts, just seem to lift it off the floor a bit, a bit longer. Uh, and sometimes I've had takes like that where... I've actually, you know, just done like faster retrieves and then back to the normal, the normal take. I'd be interested to see how the, uh, I'll give this a few more goes, obviously, uh, while you're on. Uh, sorry, the missus has found something funny. Uh, she last went at the dogs. <laughs> Uh, anyway, the do the dog's results was uh, it, the lump was cancerous, but they think they got everything out, so that's a good. That's we're, we're all in a, a, a cheerful uh, sort of mood, so because it you know we were worried, and uh, as you should be with that something like that, but uh, it wasn't attached to anything, and uh, it was close to the skin, so they think it's. Uh, this they've said it more or less everything should be okay now and uh, they'll keep it we're going back to the month for checks. Sorry Mike, I know I'm drifting off a bit. Let's have a, Oh thanks. Oh I'm so sorry Mike. I'm so sorry sorry so sorry to bring it up Mike. Um Yeah, I lost my dad in May to cancer, my friend, uh, and he was seventy seven uh, I'm actually going to my mother's tonight. Um, we lost my dad in in May, and uh, and as with my dad and and uh, you know your dog, they were all family, and it, it hurts so much. And to be so helpless, not to be able to do it, and be and be told there's nothing we can do. It, it's an horrible way to go, you know, and. Uh, I'm going to support him in my uh, in the evenings and stuff. So I'll be I'll be streaming a, 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 another hour or two, and then I'll be off to my mum's for keep her company overnight. But yeah, I'm sorry for uh, the we got the okay for the for for thingy. You know, we'll keep a check on they're going back in another uh, month, and I'll keep you posted, mate. Thanks for. Uh, Thanks for the kind words. It's uh, we're all together in in that, aren't we? It's not something we can get away in our, our family and our friends and our pets. And it's 
something we can't seem to uh, beat cancer, you know, when we get uh, and uh, well done everybody fighting it and um, keep the front up uh, fighting it does help what are you saying come here what are you barking at are you letting everybody know you're happy we too we, uh, we've got lila who's just had that uh, little skirt and we've got her daughter we got them both from uh, from a home in uh, in wales we actually traveled like 100 miles to buy them cost us 200 pounds but they're worth every penny uh, <laughs> we spent 500 pound on uh, lilo to get her kidneys uh, working again and uh, to to um to have these at least little operation for cancer and stuff so uh, they're worth it they give back more way more in love than money and thing you know so if you can give a dog a home you do it you're doing something good for you know for everybody oh yeah thanks mike um yeah uh, in november he got told he only had two weeks to live uh and uh, as my dad is is dry like me he said uh, well that's not very long and uh, they, they give him uh emergency chemo and uh, it got, got it give him an extra six months um so anybody who's in that same situation it will give you a bit longer um go through uh, it's an horrible thing to have to go through but uh if you are contemplating it it will fight them cancer it was working on the my dad's uh lungs it was reducing the uh, cancer sizes, but uh, unfortunately, it, it had gone too far. They caught it too late. But if anybody is listening out there who is in the same situation, um, it's it, it's your own choice, but it does it does help. It gave me give me my, my dad an extra six month with my mum, which we cherish. Uh, it, you know, uh, I. I don't want to go to, on too much about it. Um, oh, Mike, we're, I'm so sorry, mate. I know exactly what you've gone through. And, um, and it, it, it's, it's, it's hurt. It takes a little bit out of you. There's a little bit of missing in the once these sad things happen. I'm so sorry, Mike, uh, to hear about all your sad, you know, sad things that happen, and uh, I really do feel for you. I know what you're going through, mate. Um, I, as as we was we were talking now, um, we actually lost a, a, a dog we loved in September uh, due to uh, old age and thing. So we thought we'd give. Uh, a new dog at home. We didn't want one straight away because we of, of how cut up we was about losing our beautiful Sandy last year, and we thought we'd give uh, two dogs a home. You know, so we've got Lilo and Thorn from a home. Uh, Lilo's Lilo's twelve, I think. Thirteen and a half. Thirteen and a half. <laughs> Been corrected, and uh, Thorn's a little daughter. Nine. Nine. Thank you, Barbara. My secretary over there making me laugh. Hey. Yeah, you did. You did, my love. She got it from our SPCA, and uh, we wanted to give a like a. Uh, uh, we've had two. Our last dog was from the, uh, you know, were uh, the kennels were were. You know, they've been homeless and that. Um, there's enough people buying uh, brand new pets and, and thinking, but we thought, well, we'll get, you know, we're, we're loving people and we'll, we'll give them a home. <laughs> but it's times when you street, wanting to stream and she's staring you in the face back in a way. I think she wants, is that pet top now with, with having the lump out and everything that she wants to go for a walk? <laughs> 
<laughs> She'd just been for a walk. Do you not want to go for a walk again, you three? No, oh, I bet BBC no, never had this problem. <laughs> I know. So we're all okay here, guys. Mike, I hope you... Uh, it, it'll take time, my friend. Um, it's a very sad... Uh, very sad times for you um, um my, my family and myself as well you know uh obviously we we love our, our family and to be helpless that's the, that's the worst thing uh, about it was to know and not you know not be able to do anything about it um but the chemo well to give him an extra six months which he he cherished with my mum and uh you know, my mum's still. My mum's were married. They were married fifty eight years. So, um, it's a long time to spend together. And uh, obviously, my mother's in uh, a bit of a bad way at the moment. So, I try to. We're, we're all, uh, we're all, you know, supporting her and uh, with her for her if she needs us and, and that and. It's actually took a little bit of the, uh, you know, the. We've not got time to be thinking because we're more concerned of, of my mum and, and her condition and, and getting her to get through this that very tough time. So I, I'm, I'm, you know, Mike, my heart goes out to you, my friend. I'm so sorry for your losses and uh, and. You know, you have a good long life, my friend. You sound a great guy. And, uh, yeah, yeah, they both are, uh, um, Barbara's, uh, very happy with the news. And <laughs> believe it or not, the dog watch just fell a stitch is out, is, is dragging, uh, dragging, uh, it's a pillar off a settee, a leather heavy pillow. <laughs> I hope she don't have an heart attack, mate. Lalo, what are you doing? <laughs> she dragging. She drags the bed all round the front room on on uh, the wooden floor. She's dragging it. It'll be funny to stream actually. Um, <laughs> are you having fun, Lalo and Thorn? Uh, Lalo barks a lot, and Thorn, a daughter, he comes apologising because of Mum's barking. She thinks it's going to get told off. So I don't know what they've been through in the past, but we we don't mind. Uh, hopefully, our neighbours don't mind. <laughs> you know, uh, Mike. I don't know. I've, I'm completely uh, not a clue what I'm doing here, Mike. Uh, any tips? Um, we don't we we want Mike streaming as soon as you can Mike let's get your stream up and going and we can watch you and uh because you you seem like you know what you're doing mate um I think you're level 22 are you level 21 22 and you're catching bigger fish than me and I know what I'm doing wrong I'm not let's have a seat my hands are that's strange the last time it said that, oh no, it weren't the hands of it, see? the hands are, uh, the game takes control of the reel, doesn't it, when the fish gets them. Um, can't believe that's still spinning, look at that. Okay, Mike, I'm going to try the floater and sinking, uh, stop and go in that pool. Something about that lure, what's just telling me, give it a go. Uh, my boat's moved down to it, it's not ideal. But I'm just going to see if I can fall in that uh, 10 meter pool and do the... Let's, let's get it, what did I go? I'm just a, I've got a feeling that it's going to... Because it's a new method I'm trying, it's a bit deep actually. Not sure whether I can, can actually get it to lift. Uh, it looks like it's dropping straight to it. Probably a jig step, more more chance of a jig step. I think this is a jig step, uh, uh, Mike. Let's have a see what it's like. Uh. Ah, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they all sound happy, Mike, and uh, appreciate your messages, mate, of, uh, 
you're right, it's in the right place, my friend, and I really appreciate it. Um, so sorry for your losses. And, uh, yeah, she is, she's, uh, she's well, but she's staring at me now, and she's just having a fat admin, it's just a red down nigga. And we got onto a fish. But it's trying to go around the boat, am I? Have we got that little white trait? Um, yeah, I agree, Mike. I think it is. Uh, you said it was nearly dusk, was it? I don't think I could scroll back on the um, my text. Oh, I may sorry, I can scroll back on my text. Um, so we'll see. Uh, it was unattended. I'm just scrolling back on the text, then I can. You don't have to type it again in the deck. Let's sort of see. It was at dusk. Uh, I think you're right, Mike. I think maybe, the, I mean, the sea trout. Uh, are you in the UK, Mike? Or are you. I'm just thinking about the time you're on, uh, although it could be morning where you were, mate. Um, Yeah, the sea trout, they they, they catch them. Uh, I mean, they do bite at day. I've, I've had them myself through the day, uh, just um, feeder fishing on the River Ribble near where I live in the UK, northwest. Um, but they, they actually fish for them in the dark at night for the, for the sea trout. So maybe the char and, and other trout like that, maybe they're, you know, Maybe they programmed them to for the bigger fish. I think was it the last? I think there's a stream of of Lady Game stream where they were saying the bigger fish come out, you know, and and they go into the shallow areas at night and stuff. Having said that, that totally contradicts what you, you, you we've been saying because we, we're fishing the deep pool. But um, maybe because it was on the drop, maybe it was on its way up because it was just, you know, dark. Um, I wanted to try some up with this uh, lure and that. I'm not sure yet what I'm trying to do because it's sinking very fast. Um, maybe I can't do it in the pool, maybe. So let's see. I think I'll, what I'll do, I'll, I'll reel it in fast. I think, I think what I need to do is, um, Barbara, Mike says hi, and he's, he's so pleased your dog's okay. And, oh, yeah. and that, uh, Mike's lost, uh, uh, unfortunately, his dad recently and his dog to cancer. So, um, we're very sorry about that, Mike. And, uh, Mike's just sent a message. Um, ah, he's in, Mike's in Sydney, uh, no, Barbara. Um, good day, mate. <laughs> uh, not very good, I bet. It's not the first time you've heard that, Mike, is it? Mikey? Mikey? Oh. Um, a really good day, mate. That's all I meant to say. And. Um, well, you'll not be having any, uh, I bet the sky's like that, uh, well, you are. Um, well, I envy you a little bit, mate, um, you've got the, the weather and the, the beautiful animals and everything, and we've got beautiful animals and nice green grass and stuff, and, but, uh, I suppose, Everybody wants what's on the other side of the, you know, whatever they say. The grass is green, as they say, on the other, on the side. Well, it's a pleasure, Mike. I appreciate you, really appreciate you, you know, spending your time, my friend. And did I change that? I thought I'd change that. It looks red. I thought I'd change the loom on that. Maybe I've changed the wrong one. I have. That's the problem. I have been trying with that one, Mike, but I just want to try to see if I can get... I think I pressed cancel, that's what happened. 
Well, <laughs> for... yeah, they do. Um, yeah, I was actually thinking about it. It's, I think it's just going dust now, so uh, maybe I need to, I shouldn't have changed that uh, lure, but I just want to try the stop and go uh, with this lure in this water. Um, hopefully I can uh, let it drop down and, and and see if I can get a stop and go going on this lure. There's the stop and go. And I think I'll be able to, counting out how long I let it sink, I think I'll be able to um, judge how, how deep it's going and work each metre of water sort of thing. Uh, just check me a message. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're happy. Mike, uh, I've got about as much money as, as what I've got in the game, about uh, <laughs> nothing. Uh, but we're happy. Um, that, you know, the dogs from first sort of thing, so. We're a loving, loving family. We love people and we love animals and. My missus tells me off when when she needs to, so it's uh, so she's happy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not as happy then. <laughs> but yeah, everybody's. Uh, I'm a very lucky man. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Mike. Uh, I think you've got a a sunnier boat than I'm in. I think uh, you see how dark it is here, Mike. This is where it's like in the daytime, right, right where I live. Um, that's a tiny charm, isn't it? Again, a few bites, Mike. Uh, I'll swap back to that. Uh, that slingshot in a minute to see if we can get one of them big beautiful skies. You see different stars, or you see it the southern uh, the southern skies. Uh, beautiful. And it's amazing how technology has improved. I mean, I'm sat in a house in the northwest uh, England, and. Uh, yeah, the other side of the world, my friend, and we're having a good time together. Um, hey, fishing, mate. You, you're catching some big fish. I've, I've not managed to see you yet in, uh, in chat, in, you know, in the game itself. Maybe there's, I think you maybe you're not even on a, my server. You're probably, that happy dog's back again, mate. Lilo. She's at the door barking at people while keep past the door. It's dark here now, Mike. It's uh, just been dark. Um, what time is it here? It's nine o'clock here, Mike. And uh, not a clue what the time it is at your end, my friend. Okay, that was the. We've had a couple of bites on that. I'm going to, with it going dark, I'm going to put that back on what Mike got the good fish on. Um, I'm going to stick with it over the evening. We might not catch one, but we can we can still try. Did did you, is it a similar setup to that? Did you say you were on a different bread than that? Um, I'm going to try a slow retrieve straight. Let's see what I can do. I may be able to be, I may be able to get a stop and go if I start it straight away. One, two, three, four. Let it drop. One, two, three, four. Let it drop. One, two, three. Let it drop. That's actually going deeper and deeper each time. So I'm not going to get the stop and go with that. Something I think. Something I noticed, Mike, is when you press. I'll try it with this. When you press shift. It seems to, well, it definitely goes faster, but um, I think with this being a blade spoon, I don't think it's holding 
in the waters because I think it's it's sinking fast and uh, obviously I didn't I didn't bring that in very well then. Um, I'll try I'll try a jig step across the bottom. I might just try a slow retrieve. Any any tips, Michael? On ah, uh, you're not in the game at the moment, mate. Um, as as I said yesterday, Mike, the pledge of mine, uh, mate. Uh, it is fun chatting, and uh, I you know I appreciate you dropping in and uh, making my my stream a really nice place to be because, um, as I said, I'm I'm very new at this. Uh, all this thing I've only just got the speed enough to to do the stream but I'm, I'm getting pleasure from it uh, especially on days where uh, uh, nice guys like you drop in mate so you want me to try any lures or any techniques in this cool mic I'm um, I'm all used so to think. Let me know what you think. Um, really? Wow. I've, Mike, I've never made it. You see how I eat food, though, and buy food. Mike, I, I, I'm amazed. Uh, you've got to let me in on how, you, how you're saving. Um, maybe you're not uh, feeding your character and you, you're managing to save a lot more. Uh, that is amazing, my friend. I've I've been catching, but I've been putting it all back in gear, and I've I've got some nice lures and stuff, but I think I've only got the biggest, the most I've got in a day is only like 140. Um, I, I'm saying a day, I mean a session, like an hour session. Um, I've only got like, well, I can show you what silver I got. Does it show? I'm I'm thinking it does, doesn't it? Uh, I've only fourteen uh, thing, here. and I've got um, I've got some gear, you know. I've I've I brought my rods, so I've no rods. Um, I've I brought I I bought that. I put thirty pound into the game, mate. Um, I don't have a lot of money. I'm not looking at all. I put uh, I put thirty pound into the game. Reason why. I wanted a, a start to the game um, to get to get used to it, and I thought, well, I put thirty pound into uh, Fishing Planet, and I had a lot of fun with Fishing Planet until it went in its in other direction. Uh, but I bought four DLCs for that, and um, to sport and to you know to to get better gear and stuff. So. I'm going to. I'm going to have to. I spent uh, where my where I think I am now. That's all I can spend on on this game at the moment, and uh, I'm going to have to earn the rest. Uh, so I need to get a good reel. I've been looking at the gold Sabir gold. Is it or something like that? It's a stronger reel than the orangey red one I've got. Um, that with a couple of rods. I, w I think I'd be trying to get that, but um, if you think that the five thousand only gets you a good rod and reel, it's it's a hard, uh, you know, um, finance system. Oh, my mum's just sent me a text. She's made me a lovely boiled ham sandwich for when I go. Boiled ham salad. With a few chips on the side. Oh, that's beautiful. So she's looking forward to me uh, going very soon. I'll be doing another 20 minutes, Mike, and then I'm going out to shoot my friend. Uh, but as ever, it's been a pleasure. Um... <laughs> I do, Mike. You want to see me in real life? Uh, unfortunately, I'm about, um, about 18 and a half stone. I have to whisper that. But. Um, uh, I've got a bad back, so my excuse is uh, I need to keep my strengths up and that. And uh, well, you can see uh, with me, um, be right back picture. Um, where is it? I'll just give you a laugh and uh, let's have a see. Be right back. Is it that one? That one. Um, all these fish went back, um, by the way. 
Uh, if you could see that, that's that's me on the right. On the right, that's me in in uh, on the River Ribble uh, in my twenties. I think I were. I think about twenty four there on the right. Um, I've got a a, a, a feed, cage feeder fishing the feeder rod on the Ribble at Ribchester uh, in in Lancashire, and I think it's, it comes into Lancashire and. Um, and I had a great day uh, caught uh, on the one on the right caught um, a lot of chub and dace in the river. Uh, the, this barbel moved into that stretch now and everything. So it's a real good stretch. That's Ribchester in, um, sorry, that's in, near Preston in, in, the, in the northwest of England. And this is further up uh, near Stavely on the A6 in, in, in the northwest. Um, and these were two uh, on on. It was only like an hour session. I, we was going up to Scotland camping, and I just had a chance. Uh, we needed to to do something to the car, so we pulled in and camped at one site. Oh yeah, cheers, Mike. Um, unfortunately, my 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 mother's scared of the dark, uh, and with dad. Been with her for the last sixty years. Uh, it's not been a problem, you see. Uh, he's always been with her, and that. But now, with my mum, with things out there, um, she needs all the lights on, and it's so so sad and that. But anytime she needs me for the for the future, I'll be there. And so, uh, if I'm not with her, she's with my sister. So. She's got a good team supporting her, Mike, and uh, we'll look after her, pal. So uh, thank you so much uh, for your beautiful cameras, Mike. Um, yeah, the the that was an eight-pound bream, two eight-pound bream, and uh, I think there was an eight-pound, two eight-pound tench. It may be one. Yeah, I think that's a one a one at eight pound tench, and the others were about five or six pounds. But they all took on castor lay, laying the about seven and a half foot deep, uh, forty meter out with a with a roach pole, fishing on a, a very dark castor, um, uh, which is like a maggot. Um, what a maggot turns to, you know, before it goes to the fly. And uh, yeah, that's the sort of fishing I do, Mike. I, I don't do much spinning and that thing. I do a bit of match fishing with. It, it looks like a, a tele, telescopic rod, but it's uh, like sixteen and a half meters long, <laughs> with elastic in the end. I can hardly hold them, hold the thing now. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't think I have the pictures on me, but. Um, Mike, I, I really appreciate you you dro dropping in on this uh, channel, uh, this this stream, and, and you brighten up the day, mate. I really appreciate it, Mike. Um, I'm gonna. I think I don't want to. I, I I have my responsibilities, and I know I do have to go. Um, but I will do do another couple of casts, Mike, and then I'm going to have to close this stream, mate. I don't think we've caught anything. I don't think we have anything in with nothing spectacular in it. We've got that 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 pike of five point six, but uh, that corner, you know, that where you got the six point nine. I've had another two good fish off that corner. Um, can, can I see it from here? It's just round that corner into that. You can just about just about see. Sorry, let's have a look. See if we can get back. Uh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Uh, one, two, three. It's just that read there. I can't, uh, I can't see it. Just where the the corner of that uh, slab of of rock goes onto that read uh, along that ledge. Uh, that's where I've had two more good takes and and one big pike got off. I believe. Um, Let's do a let's do a retrieve before it sinks and let it come back. One nice fish will be good in the next five minutes before I, I go back. But um, yeah, consider, consider doing your stream, my friend, and I, I would definitely be one of your followers. Uh, 
And it's a bit good to see you, you know, what your what your techniques are. That's that that's a little uh, daughter, that's thorn. What's up with the uh one left of them. Uh morning has broken bit of lots of things. Sun that summer's on its way. So you're just starting your summer, is that right, Mike? Um, we're just getting a bit cool now around it, around the evening times. Uh, we're just going into our autumn and soon to be winter. So things, you know, the, the ground's very muddy and wet around here. There's a lot of wet, you know, a lot, a lot of wet uh, weather, uh, dark, dark nights and stuff. So... You know, I think I'm going to go do the speed up slow down. I think let's sort of say speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. You see how the, when it when you let it sink and then use the shift and the and the retrieve, it stops the line from dropping, which is we could actually work it across the depth of a pool at different depths. Didn't mean to do the right right click. Okay, Mike, I'm going go away the fishing, see what we got for them, and uh, I'll catch you again, my friend. Um, uh, right, then, correct. <laughs> uh, do you do anything with music, Mike? Uh, uh, musical? I'm going away the fishing, Mike, then I'll, I'll have to shoot and uh, get to my mum's. Um, now I wondered if you're into, uh, if you played any music or any musical instruments. It's, I'm a musician myself. Um, My trade is uh, a welder. Um, I was a welder. Um, unfortunately, I've, I've got a, a bad back and a tumour in it. It's not cancerous, but it can't be operated on, so I've, it's pressing on some of And I'm, I'm in constant pain with my back uh, on strong painkillers. That's why sometimes I sound a bit... <laughs> well, I am a bit dopey, but sometimes I sound a bit more dopey than... Uh, it's the strong pain cause, you know, and uh, just a thing. Um, so it's under control, it's been treated for pain and stuff, but, but it, it happens. There's a lot of people a lot worse off than me, so I just have to get on with it, don't I? Um, ah, yeah, it, it, it does go to extremes for for yourself uh mike i ah, see you mike i'm just going away the uh just going away the fishing mike um if you wanted to know what that five kilogram well you'll know because you got it you got one bigger <laughs> as usual i think that's 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 getting a saying i caught one bigger than that ed <laughs> uh yeah mike it's it has been a pleasure again i really appreciate you dropping it on the stream um what have we got uh, 18 silver see so, yeah, you know what i do what i've been doing mike i'll, I'll sell these and uh some of it goes on butties and some of it goes on uh i've got 36 i've been i've been buying the uh i know i've been buying the canteen out obviously <laughs> uh, but i have been trying to Ah, right, Mike. Um, well, I've got... Check out... A, a, I don't like... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to get, get you involved in some of what you might get addicted to, but uh, there, I know a few friends um, from Australia through a, 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 a music... Really? 
Wow, Mike. Um, I played guitar really in uh, local, you know, local club bands and stuff. Uh, but I, I bought a, I bought a drum kit. So, unfortunately, if you do go to this website, don't. Oh, Mike. We, we sound like twin. We sound like biological twins who's been separated at birth, and you've been put on the other side of the planet. My my friend, it's it's well. I know we. Uh, it sounds like I know everything. What's uh, happening to you? Because it sounds like it's happened to me as well. Um, you, what you need to tell me next, Mike, is the winning lottery numbers, and we're both pro on. Uh, because if you win the lottery, maybe I might win the lottery. <laughs> you know, that's what we need. And uh, I'm coming seeing you if I win the lottery with you. But you know what? I don't buy a lottery ticket, so I'm not going to win that, am I? Oh. Uh, right, Mike, uh, te take note of this. It's called Band Hub. Uh, see if I can type it in here. Um, I think links might go in if I type them. Uh, let's have a see if I can type in. Um, uh, Bandup.com it's called and my name in that is Ed's Music uh, so you search your Bandup.com and Ed's Music and it's a go to it's a go to uh, a band of, a, a, a website for musicians all over the world to just sit in the living rooms but I've I got electric drum kit because I've also got a bit of arthritis in my knuckles, so holding the, the guitar cords down was getting a bit of a pain with my knuckles. But believe it or not, on uh, mesh heads on a on a drum kit, uh, it was it was like a soothing sort of um, massage for my knuckles. It didn't actually hurt my knuckles. I think the bright vibration, the gentle vibration of how oh, I drum. Uh, which is nothing like a professional drum. We are, mate. We are. No, we're not. You can play drums. <laughs> when you go on this website, you'll say, yeah, you're right, Ed. We're not doppelgangers. You can't play drums. I could keep a beat, Mike, but I'm a guitarist who's a wannabe drummer. Um, I'm, 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 I'm playing slide guitar on Hotel, uh, Hotel California. Uh, had it tonight, and I play... I, I, played the three parts of the guitars of the Eagles song um, so that's the way we could If you, do you, I bet you don't have your drums do you still have your drums or a practice drum or electric drums me and you's got to do uh, a fishing song for, for Russian fishing for I'll let you be the singer mate um, but check out bandhub.com Ed's music alright have I not alright it's something like that Bandhub.com adds music. I'll, I'll page. I'll, I'll click. I don't think it'll click as a link, but um, on that page, it'll have. Um, let me see if I can find it before I shoot. Let's have a see. Let me page band. Um, Okay, that's my profile. But that's uh, I had a funny feeling, Mike. Uh, I don't I don't know why. I, I, I had a feeling like I, I needed to ask you, were you a musician or it, it, it was just something? What was? I think it may be because of the coincidence of a lot of things that we we have in common. You know, I mean. A lot of people will have them things in common, you know, uh, of losing parents and losing animals. But there was something uh, a little bit more that made me want to ask if you're a musician. Um, I could make you laugh now and say, uh, is, a, is a drummer actually a musician? It, you know, uh, he's, more, he's more the, uh, the roadie and the crazy guy in the, of the gang and uh, he's somebody I always wanted to be. I always wanted to be the drummer, but I ended up being the guitarist. I don't know if that'll click and link to you. Um, 
I don't think it will. It will in with my uh, with my thing. You have no drums. Well, uh, I'm sure you have uh, other ways of making music, uh, Mike. You can be the singer. Uh, you can't sing. I don't believe it. Okay. Well, we we have something else in common. I'm not much of a singer either, Mike. Um, I got a I got an electric drum kit. It's the Alexis uh, DM10. Is it the DM10X? It was uh, around a thousand pound new, and I got it second hand for six hundred, six hundred and sixty pound. I'm going to have to go up, actually. Sorry, Mike, I've gone a bit... Um... Sorry, Mike. I'm uh, I'm going to catch up with your uh, text, man friend. Uh, got a bit lost then. Um, Google all fifty-five. I won't really make you've, you. Well, you've more or less made it, though, my friend. Nothing I've done is. Uh, I actually did a bit of sound mixing uh, for um, Georgie Fair. Well. When he come back uh, for his like tribute of fifty years in music uh, to his hometown of uh, Lee, I did his, uh, you know, his, uh, and he had hits number one hits with um, um, Bonnie and Clyde uh, in the sixties from the UK. Uh, so I did, I did, I did his. Uh, we had a ten k rig, something like that. Uh, and I, I had like a, a 24, 36, something like that, a big, a big master deck and everything, full control of him. And I was mixing a piano and his voice and a, a few effects and, and stuff. But to have an actual, you know, local legend really from, from where, but to have him actually sing a, a number one hit in the UK and I think abroad as well in a lot of places like Bonnie and Clyde and uh, uh, a few other to actually be able to mix the, the singer who, who and while he was singing a number one hit song and actually mix it on a, on a, a mixer and, and have him come up and say a great mix like you know and thanks for making me sound good and stuff it was, it was a, you know, so that's my little, uh, actually, I, I met a, one of your fellow, um, my, my name, uh, in the, would it be, I would have been about 26, something like that. Uh, uh, yeah, I know I have to go, mate, and I will go, I, I, I get there before 10, and it, she's only like a mile away, so, um, I do have to go, Mike. You've got me doing it, but I appreciate the reminder. Craig Johnson, from uh, who played for Liverpool, uh, I actually had an evening with him after he went watching a, a rugby uh, match with uh, somebody he'd been invited to. He come back to our local pub with um, with one of the rugby 
managers who was on, on the pub near us. And Craig uh, Johnson, he, I think he invented Adidas Predator boots. And uh, he's, he's probably very famous in, in your country. He, brought, he played for Liverpool and scored in the FA Cup final, I think, or something like that, 2 1. And uh, he, he, he would talk a gentleman. What it was, he didn't want to drive his. Uh, is Nissan 380ZX or something like that uh, sports car with what was absolutely main brand new top of the range headlights flicked up and all that and uh, he said is there anybody uh, who you can trust who can drive safe and I'd only just gone into the pub because I was dropping a friend off and he said oh Ed's a sound you know and and I, I took Craig Johnson and the comedian he was stopping with, I'm not sure who that comedian was, but he was very funny. <laughs> uh, I took Craig uh, from Atherton to uh, to Liverpool, where he was staying with this comedian. His wife and kids had just moved back or moved on to his next venue. I think he was just finishing with Liverpool, his, his thingy. And he mentioned these boots he'd got coming in and... Uh, we actually did, I just cannot believe him by Elvis and stuff. He, he was, I played it on guitar and he was like singing it. And, and yeah, I think he's a, you know, uh, he was into a bit of guitar and as well and that. And we had a great evening. We got it is house around half 11 and we, we didn't leave till six in the morning. Uh, my friend drove my car behind me and I drove his sports car back to uh, Liverpool. One of the best memories of uh, meeting you know, a celebrity of that. But I've met another celebrity now, Mike. I've met you, my friend. I will check. I have uh, copied that all 55. And if I will, I will find out everything I can about that. Uh, I'm pasting it into me, uh, into me thing, you know, and I'm going to search that. I can do that. My mum's actually. So um, I, I can't stream and I can't go online uh, thing, but I can check who they are on YouTube and stuff on my phone and that. Uh, that. So, uh, thank you so much, Mike. Uh, I had loads of fun. Uh, check out uh, uh, Heartache Tonight, uh, where I do the slider. I'm the old guy with no hair and uh, a bit of a belly, a bit of a big belly, actually. <laughs> but I'm, I'm the old guy uh, playing the guitars on uh, Hotel California. So, uh, it's funny how things change from, you know, uh, I'm. Uh, I'm turning into some sort of hobbit, I think. <laughs> so, but uh, I'm having fun while I'm doing it, my friend. Uh, thank you so much, Mike, for dropping in on this uh, stream. And I, I really hope to catch you soon. And uh, if not, we'll make music on Band Up as well. You know, Maybe we can join up and make a, a virtual band. Um, you only need a couple of the pots and pans. I'm sure you can make, you know... Put a bit of different uh, water in a, a, a you know, a water, a, a plastic bottle, and I'm sure you, being a musician, can make some great tunes out of that. Don't forget that didgeridoo, mate. <laughs> uh, good day. I, I'm not going to take uh, anything because uh, it's a it's a wonderful accent, and I do I do like it. And uh, have a great day, my friend. And uh, I'll catch you later. Uh, it's been a pleasure and thank you you've made my day and my stream again my friend um, and I gotta go thank you Mike for everything appreciate it I uh, will catch you later sir good night my friend bye Mike <laughs>